as entrepreneurs, when we set our minds to something, we want it right now. We go big. In fact, we invented the phrase, go big or go home. But when it comes to making progress, moving our lives forward, getting in shape and making money, consistency beats grand gestures every time. I'm Alex Sharfin, and this is the Momentum Podcast, made for empire builders, game changers, trailblazers, shot takers, record breakers, world makers, and creators of all kinds. Those among us who can't turn it off and don't know why anyone would want to. We challenge complacency, destroy apathy, and we are obsessed with creating momentum so we can roll over bureaucracy and make our greatest contribution. Sure, we pay attention to their rules, but only so that we can bend them break them, then rewrite them around our own will. We don't accept our destiny, we define it. We don't understand defeat because you only lose if you stop, and we don't know how. While the rest of the world strives for average and clings desperately to the status quo, we are the minority, the few, who are willing to hallucinate there could be a better future, and instead of just daydreaming of what could be, we endure the vulnerability and exposure it takes to make it real. We are the evolutionary hunters, clearly the most important people in the world, because entrepreneurs are the only source of consistent, positive human evolution, and we always will be. Here's a typical scenario I run into with my clients and with entrepreneurs in general all the time. I'll have somebody attend an event or go speak or talk about uh, how important it is that we treat ourselves holistically as an entrepreneur. I talk about being a million-dollar racehorse, and every entrepreneur I know, including you, is a million-dollar racehorse. You are capable of making millions of dollars, so you should treat yourself like one. I ask entrepreneurs things like, if you're not treating yourself like a professional athlete, I ask why, because we have the income and influence potential of professional athletes. But here's the challenge I run into. I'll have these conversations with entrepreneurs. I'll make the presentation. And here's what happens. In fact, it just happened in one of my Facebook groups this morning. And I'm not saying this is exactly the case specifically in my Facebook group, but it sure looks like it to me. I had one of my clients sign in and say, as part of getting in in shape and getting healthy, I'm going to run a half marathon in April. Does anyone else want to join me? Well, here's what I'm looking at. Right now it's February 1st. So let's say you have somewhere between six to eight weeks to train for a half marathon. That is going to be a rigorous over the top training schedule if you wanna do things right. You have to run 13.2 miles. I've done it before. It takes a tremendous amount of time. You wanna start running you know, dozens of miles or well over a few dozen miles a week or a couple dozen miles a week depending on what training protocol you use. It's gonna to take tons of hours each week. It's going to take a ton of time, and then when you're in the countdown, you have to start training for a marathon or a half marathon countdown. Now, you can ignore all of that because what normally happens for entrepreneurs is they set an outcome like this. It's February 1. They've got a half marathon in April, and I've watched this tons of times. You're supposed to train. You've set this huge outcome. You've made this big commitment. Then you just don't find the time. You can't get to it, and the race starts getting closer and closer, and because you've committed to it, you go and race, and you run the race that weekend. It takes you four and a half or five hours to do a half marathon. It is brutal. It feels exhausting. It is exhausting. Maybe you even hurt yourself, get a hairline bone fracture. I've seen it all, and it's because as entrepreneurs, we have this belief that if we're not making a grand gesture, a massive commitment, then it doesn't really matter. But here's what I want you to know as an entrepreneur is that consistency and making something happen every day is so much more important and so much more effective than a grand gesture. See, on the other side of this coin, instead of like running a half marathon in six weeks or eight weeks, why not commit to, I'm going to get up every day and hyperhydrate. I'm going to have a morning routine daily. I'm going to get out for a 20-minute walk and reverse the adrenal thyroid state that I'm in, get my body out of fight or flight, and figure out a way to move forward faster and calm the body and, and you know stop reactivity. What about getting up every day and eating a whole foods diet and allowing some time to work out and to meditate and to breathe and uh, to drink throughout the day and to calm yourself, become more present, become more aware and get in your body so that when you're making decisions, you are making them with a higher state of awareness and a higher state of presence. See, to me, that is so much more effective than the grand gesture of a half marathon because let's be honest, even if you do the training for the half marathon, here's what is highly likely to happen. Half marathon training increases cortisol levels. We already know it. It may feel good, but just it took me a long time to learn the lesson. Just because it feels good doesn't mean you should do it. And 
when you train for a half marathon, especially in an accelerated time period of less than two months, you're going to take up a lot of time and you're going to drain a tremendous amount of energy. You're going to throw off your metabolism. It's very likely that in half marathon training, you actually gain weight and increase, massive increase of stress on the body. And in an eight week training cycle for a half marathon, it's highly likely that you actually overstress the cardiovascular system and lower your VO2 capacity rather than improve it because of such a tight time frame and such a tight training time. And I see entrepreneurs do this all the time. It is so common for me to, to, to do a presentation. It's, you know, I talk to entrepreneurs and I'll ask, like, how's everything going for you? Because I know the client who posted this. And I know that she has a ton going on in her business, a ton going on in her life. She's scaling her company like crazy. She's making a massive impact. And when all of that starts to happen for us as entrepreneurs, we want to have that same level of energy, that same level of engagement, that same level of achievement everywhere. But here's the problem. If we make grand gestures in all areas of our lives, I'm going to scale and grow my business. I'm going to run a half marathon. I'm going to get in the best shape of my life. I'm going to start eating a perfect diet. I'm going to start hydrating every day. I'm going to start doing all the things I need to do all at once and right away today. We all know what happens. As entrepreneurs, we set ourselves up for massive failure. It's just like the, I'm going to go on a perfect whole 30, no, you know, messing around diet. And I watch entrepreneurs do this all the time. We make it through the first day. We make it through the second day. Then by the third day in the morning, there's not the right type of food available. So we break the whole 30 diet. And by lunch, we're having a double cheeseburger with French fries because consistency and simple daily habits are not as exciting as grand gestures, but consistency and simple daily habits are where real productivity changes, behavioral changes, and trajectory changes happen in our lives. Grand gestures may feel good. They may be exciting. They may be fun to talk about. We know that they're exciting to put on social media, and they look inspirational to the people around us. But commitment to consistency, commitment to daily habits, commitment to changing your behavior in a way that isn't temporary, but in a way that's permanent is what will create long lasting change in your life. It's what will create the ability for you to consistently and repeatedly reset the trajectory of your life, up level where you're going and create an even bigger impact and even greater contribution. When you look at the most successful entrepreneurs in the world, That's what they're doing. It may appear like they're all about grand gestures, but here's what happens. They're consistent and then incredible things happen and that's the grand gesture you're observing. This weekend, a very close friend of mine, Russell Brunson, was on stage with Grant Cardone in Miami in front of 35,000 people in a stadium. In fact, Grant's a friend and Grant parachuted into the stadium on stage in order to kick off that entire event. Those appear like massive grand gestures. But here's what I know about Russell. And if you asked him today, Russell, how do I become a millionaire? He'll tell you straight up, being a millionaire is consistency. It's a daily discipline. It's doing the right things on a daily basis in a habitual way with a level of obsession that gets you to a higher level of success. I don't think Russell would tell you that it's about grand gestures and pointing your finger at the the home run line and or the home run wall and assuming you're going to make it. Because for people like us, if we apply daily discipline, if we work at things over and over again, if we focus in a way that generates results so that things move forward quickly, that's how we get to the place where we're speaking in front of 35,000 people. Russell didn't conjure this up just because he wanted to. Here's how he ended up on that stage. It starts years ago with ClickFunnels being started as a company. It starts with Russell going out and talking to a very tight avatar, a very narrow avatar of people at the very beginning who adopted the ClickFunnels platform. Then it was hundreds, maybe thousands of webinars and presentations and practice and going back to the same offer over and over and over again and selling people onto the platform. And by doing that on a daily basis, by getting up and doing the right things and habitually acting like success was already there, making sure that he was doing the right things, he ended up on stage in front of 35,000 people. So if you want to get there or if you want to get to a million dollar business or if you want to go from seven to eight figures, consistency will be grand gestures every day of the week. And here's the key. It's easier. 
The path to bigger results is actually easier. The path to bigger outcomes is actually easier. The path to you having what you want as an entrepreneur is easier than we make it because we feel like we have to get up, point out into the, the, to the, to the field. I'm terrible at sports analogies, but we feel like we need to get up like Babe Ruth, take the bat and point to center field like we're going to knock it out of the park, announce it to the world, and then make a big spectacle of it. When we would be so much better off if we got up in the morning, followed a simple routine, focused on the things we should focus on, make sure we're hydrated, make sure we're breathing and meditating and calming the body, make sure we're moving in a way that supports our physiology and gets us out of fight or flight, and make sure that we are eating whole foods that are free of preservatives and colors and sugars most of the time, as much as you possibly can. And doing those things will move you forward so much faster than grand gestures, especially since most entrepreneurs make multiple grand gestures at the same time, which leaves us feeling like we can't focus, like there's too much going on, and like we possibly can't win. Once you start building a team, once you start growing your company, consistency is the true path to success. Being a millionaire, being a multimillionaire, growing a business past seven figures and eight figures, it is all about your daily habits, your daily rituals, and the consistency with which you drive towards success. It has very little to do with grand gestures of any type. If you're ready to become more consistent on all of the keystone habits that create success for an entrepreneur, check out MomentumMasterclass.com. This is our personal success product that 100% of our clients in our coaching programs start with. It is all of the keystone habits that you should have in place so that you can create greater levels of presence and awareness as an entrepreneur, make better decisions, and know exactly where you should be focused right now. If you ask yourself once a week, what should I be focused on or what should I be doing? If you know you're not making the progress that you want, if you want a clear path to getting the results you want, the success you want, and the outcomes you want in life, go to MomentumMasterclass.com. Join hundreds of our students that have already learned how to lower the pressure and noise in their lives, stop limiting behaviors, and create momentum on demand. MomentumMasterclass.com.